So on today's episode, we got things for the cat. We got the garden striker for a fish finder. That portable kit. So we're gonna unbox it, see what comes in it. I've already opened it, I said battery, I don't know what's in it. But yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be two, a pull tab, and right away, let's pull out the battery. Comes with a 7 amp hour battery, definitely will upgrade that, let's get that out of the way. Here's the bag. Let's throw that out the way for now. Paperwork and instructions. We got the unit itself here. Nice little guy. Put him there. Let's see what else is up in here. Let's take. I believe that is the transducer mount, I think, for the suction cup. Don't quote me on that. That's under that. This is the battery charger. Ooh, power cable for the unit. Suction cup looks like other mounting hardware. More mountain hardware, foam shit of some sort, and that's all that was on that side. Come over here, we pull this out. We got another mountain here. Inside here, we got. Gives you a couple different mounting options. Let's get that out of the way. And this is part of the bag. Brackets for that. Here's the transducer and no wiring that goes with it. Put that over there for now. Here is the base. So I guess we're gonna set up a time lapse and I'm gonna put this together. So I got the bag done. There, I didn't unravel this yet because I'm not ready for that. There's a little spot to hold the transducer. There's a unravel, like, you know, like what vacuums have. To hold all the cords. Um, this side's just a pouch. And then on the back we got quick access to the pocket where the charger is and the battery. And then obviously, the flap that will close up our unit. So. Stored, store demonstrations on. Hmm. I'm gonna change my mind. Yeah, no, I'm not sure.
Now we got a little demonstration. Uh, we will see. This is what the split traditional. Another cool thing you can do with this. Waypoint maps. Save our spots, be able to go back to them. But that's where I'm going to leave this off. We're going to hop back on in a couple of days and test this baby out. We're out here, back on the water. Currently in 27.4 feet of water. And these fish are jumping all over the place. I'm pulling a net behind me, or not a net. A little hook behind me, hoping to catch one. These guys are all babies. Trying to catch one that made it from last year. So I'm gonna troll around. Hey, we got lots of something in there. I don't know. I'm gonna flip you guys around. Might you record? Oh, now all I need to do. I have some action cams. We just need to get another mount kit. And a couple battery banks to set up for all day power. Oh, I see a fellow kayaker out here. But once I'm set up for all day power, I can run a couple cameras. I want to run, run off the front of the boat so you get a better view than where you're at now. And then one maybe somewhere up here behind me. That'd be pretty cool. What the fuck was that? A fish just hit my boat. How cold is the water? Looks like it's 54 degrees. Ooh, Fahrenheit, that's cold. Oh, I just need another fish jump. Oh, there's a little inlet over here. That might be a good spot. My freaking rod keeps birds nesting on me. I think I put too much line on it. This fucking brutal guys. Brutal.
I think I'm gonna go need to mine somewhere, rig up something a little heavier. Stretch that line out, maybe pull some off. Oh, there's a dock over there. Oh, these kayakers are like stroking in unison. I already found a spot that was like 60 feet deep in this fucking pond. It's kind of mind blowing that it's that deep. I didn't think it was. interested in just like journeys like I just point A to point B travel bring like limited food sleep for the night is that something you guys really want to watch that's something I'll totally do here the water is 40 feet deep.
could definitely catch a good one. What my original journey was. How are this? things out for first day of tournament tomorrow. Got my new Cabela's Bass Pro Shops PSD. Got a bait box. Um, picked up some new apples today. Gonna try those out. The anchor did nothing for me today. This is kind of what I'm thinking of the layout. Net in this holder here. I got my fish finder up in the front. My butt board here. Then I got my two rods in the back. I just picked this one up. It's a super sensitive one for going for the trout. And got some smaller line on it. But that's my plan. So you can tell just by the wind. But yeah. So you'll have a video of first day of tournament. That's where I'm gonna end this video. So remember, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.